Is there room in history for the common man? After all, what really makes a man or woman significant in history? Is it measured by the achievements, wealth, power, or fame? Or rather, is it measured by the content of their character? Our journey has never been one of shortcuts or settling for less. It has not been the path for the faint-hearted, for those who prefer leisure over work or seek only the pleasures of riches and fame. Rather, it has been the risk-takers, the doers, the makers of things, some celebrated, but more often men and women obscure in their labor, who have carried us up the long, rugged path towards prosperity and freedom. The working people built this country, not the guys with the money. During the depression, it was hard to get a job at that time. But I was working all the time. Uh, to me, it was just a, it was just a learning experience. I mean, uh, I picked beans and picked up potatoes, and that was in Chillicothe, Ohio. But I, I worked from the time I was nine years old. I had jobs when grown men did, 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 was looking for jobs. But I would take any job that came along as long as it was an honest job. I was making, they paid me $14 a month. My daddy and mother got the $14 and I, and I, and I got the board. Well, I knew, I knew concrete and I knew, well, I knew construction and working one end to the other. I found out I had a real hard head. <laughs> I worked all the time during the Depression. I worked as hard as the men did. I was making $10 a week for World War II. Seven nights a week, 12 hours a night. You did what you had to do. And I did, I've, I've never been intimidated by anybody. The American dream to me was just surviving more than anything. I've always been a protector all my life, yeah. Because I think I've had an angel on my shoulder all my life. Because I've, I've, I've did things I never think, dreamed I could do. I met Bill at a local IHOP in Huntersville, North Carolina. Bill is a 90-year-old man that embodies working-class virtues such as willpower, determination, integrity, sacrifice, and self-responsibility. The bounce-back attitude and actions taken by men like Bill during tough times leave a legacy of America's foundation. Bill goes to IHOP every Sunday, waiting for a chance to share his compelling story with anybody who will listen. Through Bill's stories, I've learned more about the significance of the common man. America in the early to mid 20th century represented a shift in focus to adhere to the common man. This reform was led by a group of people known as the progressives. Essentially, they believed that social order could improve, and that it was their duty to be a catalyst for improvement. Bill, among many others, took it upon themselves to further improve America. Professor Levering, a professor at Davidson College, elaborates. How willing they are to make society better, to, to make the effort to make society better, and to contribute to society's goals definitely can improve history. The actions taken by the progressives were needed to solve the social problems left in wake of the Industrial Revolution. The problems included the unrecognized, underprivileged classes and the jeopardy of basic rights. Prior to the era of the progressives, the elite minority of America took advantage of the common man. This can be seen from the terrible working conditions in steel mills and auto manufacturing industries. However, with people like Bill standing up for their rights, the elites were forced to back down. Thus, the progressives forced all classes, rich and poor, to settle their differences. Consequently, from this action, an environment emerged in which the legacy of the American dream became possible. The farmers and the laborers built this country. And the workers, I mean, like the spinners and the weavers and the cotton mills and things like that. The legacy of the American dream can be accredited to the generation of the progressives. They all shared a vision of America as a leading torchbearer of advancing civilizations. 
This shared goal ultimately compelled Bill's generation to unify under a nationalistic pride and express their patriotism by further building their country. In this time, patriotism was often placed as high or higher than family or self because it ultimately would benefit future generations to come. It was a great generation because there was a lot of patriotism in that generation, willingness to sacrifice for the country. Despite the valiant efforts of the progressives, America fell prey to the Great Depression starting October 21, 1929. The stock market was hitting tremendous lows every week. Within a month, the losses on Wall Street totaled $50 billion of debt. Times never seemed worse, and people struggled just to feed themselves, let alone get a job. America's entrepreneurial spirit was once again lacking, and the unemployed rate grew to a devastating 25%. Between 1930 and 1933, 9,000 banks closed and 54,640 businesses failed. Millions dropped out of school in order to get a job to help support their families. The bill is no different. The, the economic crisis was so widespread that most people did have to tighten their belts. Many people uh, obviously hit, were hit by unemployment. Despite the ever-declining economy, President Hoover failed to recognize the severity of the Depression. Hoover believed that free aid and government intervention was dangerous, mainly because that, over time, government charity would bankrupt the nation of values, such as personal initiative, self-worth, and integrity. As a result, he endorsed self-help. Hoover's press statement in 1931 expresses his take on the situation. He states, I am confident that our people have the resources, the initiative, the courage, the stamina, and the kindliness of spirit to meet the situation in the way they have met their problems over generation. People of that generation, uh, both the New Deal period and World War II period, strongly believed in working hard for their families and not trying not to be uh, expect the government to do everything for them. Yet, despite avid amounts of work, Bill and his generation still struggled. Jobs were diminishing the government refused to lend a hand. With the inauguration of President Roosevelt, a new strategy was put into effect. He proposed a new deal in which the leaders would guide the laborers towards prosperity. This plan relied not only on the efficiency of the government, but also on the people's willingness to take part in it. This mutual relationship between the progressive spirit of the people and guidance of the government would ultimately revive America of its economic catastrophe. There's often a uh mutual relationship between leaders and followers and without one or the other you don't have history the way it has worked out. I think it was an extremely practical solution to put people to work. Today when we look back at Bill's story we can see the many actions he took to better not only his standard of living but also those surrounding him. He chose to rise to the occasion each time America faced a crisis or challenge. Today we are in the midst of another economic crisis. However, if we should ever return to the legacy Bill's story encompasses, the people as a whole could rise to the challenge and emerge triumphant. And part of the ethos uh, associated with that generation is of sucking it up, doing your duty, uh, not complaining and not, not calling attention to yourself. And those are admirable virtues. There's a school of thought founded in the socialist movement that believes history is made through the laborer and not the leader. In this era, the laborers must first choose to make history and perhaps America will return to a prosperous and patriotic nation once more. I can think of a legacy that, that I would say that I would leave. Um, other than passing on what little I know to those who come after me and, and give them a warning that things are going to be rough than they are now. Bill never was a president, an astronaut, or a world-class athlete. He never won a Nobel Peace Prize, made a new discovery, or set a world record. In the eyes of many historians, Bill is forgettable. And although not many will remember him, the legacy he and so many others leave behind acts as a model for shaping future generations. For everyday people are important and sometimes in some ways heroic. If your conception of history is confined to uh, top government officials or elite people in other walks of life, you're going to miss out on a lot of history.